We're back, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I am thrilled about our first guest tonight. My first guest, of course, an Emmy Award-winning comedian. His DVD box set, not just the best of The Larry Sanders Show, is in stores now, and it is brilliant. Please welcome Gary Shanley. I just decided I would like to sit in the audience tonight and not participate on the uh, on this side. <laughs> really? You want to? Yeah. Never done that before. I've never I've never sat in the audience, and it just it feels like it'd be fun because you don't you don't feel any stress or any nervousness about what Conan's going to ask you or anything like that, right? Oh man. They feel they feel pity, I think, sometimes for me, but they don't feel yeah the same. They don't feel like the spotlight is on them. Necessarily. Oh boy, I didn't want to think the spotlight was on me, but thanks. Yeah, yeah. No, we're here to I find out about you. Uh, before we move on, thanks for plugging. Yes. No one ever asks you. You got anything to plug? I'm thinking of you. You got anything to plug? Uh, there's a new sunblock that's a 65 SPF. <laughs> it actually I, it shoots light back up at the sky. It's so powerful, and I'd like to recommend. I'd that like to recommend to a Irishman. number. Uh, Sorry. You, that's all right. No, no, Anything your turn. After Irishman? <laughs> <laughs> In your turn, go. I'd like to recommend a number 40 emotional block <laughs> for the Jewish people. <laughs> so we could go out we to could, the beach together. We could share our time and together. You would feel safe in the sun, and I wouldn't complain. <laughs> So happy to uh, see you, and thanks for uh, plugging, plugging that baby. Because uh, well, people are looking for this is uh, very exciting. Well, I wouldn't say people are looking. I don't know what sentence you were going to say there, but it's fantastic. <laughs> I guess we'll never know, will no, we? No, yeah. we'll never know. I, although with online now, you find out, and it's not always pleasant. But yeah. let's not get into that now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever looked at online at the things they say about you? Or? No, no, no. I no. couldn't. Could you? You couldn't handle that. I, I couldn't, couldn't handle that. Well, I don't know even where to go. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't have a, I'm not so uh, computer literate, so... Uh, you type in your name and press return, and you see what everybody's saying about you. I can type in my name, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> then hit return, and then you see no, everything. No, I've thanks. never done it. I no. don't want to know. No, 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 no. We should keep, we should keep that private. We don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what anybody... I don't want to know what you think in person. I don't even want to go online. <laughs> Well, let's, let's talk about something, because I've worked with you, I've had the great privilege of working with you the a few times. The last time I worked with you, I was on a horse with you. On the Emmys, a couple of years ago, I, uh, we, were, we were bareback on a horse. Yeah. And now, you wanted to hold me around the waist. That was your suggestion. Yes. I, I'm, I'm not sure they're believing it was for television. <laughs> <laughs> so it later they, aired on Swedish television. They need a, oh, well, I mean, I have a, a still photo in my house, but... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 that's the last time I saw you, I think, and, so I haven't seen is, you in a while, so I moved, because yeah, I live in L.A. Well, I don't get to, I don't get to, uh, probe your mind, I hope that doesn't sound weird, but I don't get to find out what, what Gary Shanley's... It sounded a little like, uh, Dr. Uh, Spock. Yeah, yeah. Is it I, Mr. Spock or Dr. Spock? I've forgotten now which Dr. one's Spock, the baby doctor and which one's the Star Trek. Dr. Spock works, uh, worked with children, yeah. Yeah, and that's the one I meant. Yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I live in Los Angeles. You live in Los Angeles. You Do you like living there? Do you enjoy it? I mean, there's all. You know. I don't. I, I find it uh, difficult. I go to the Laker game to uh, get my mind off of uh, supposedly show business, supposedly our lives, supposedly I'm watching athletes. But then what they do at the Laker game, I don't know if they do it here. They show your face. If you're a celebrity, they show your face on the jumbotron. Right. That's uncomfortable for me. <laughs> I'm self-conscious as it is, and a few people recognize me and they applaud and all that kind of stuff. But then they cut to Eddie Murphy and the place explodes. <laughs> and you're sitting there to get away and not think about anything about show business, <laughs> and suddenly it's American Idol right there at the <laughs> Laker game. And they go through all the celebrities, uh -huh. and, the, and they're voting. It's really to the point now what I do right. is I call ahead to see who's going to be there before I decide to go. <laughs> To see, see that, where you can that's rank. That's the L.A. scene. That's very neurotic. That's sad. Uh, well, what about, this is a big issue in Los Angeles, immigration? Is immigration uh, something that you're passionate about? I just don't think it's about? that neurotic and that sad. I think if you were... <laughs> I know, I know you, I, I think you want to jump onto cultural stereotypes because you started, you started with Irish, so it's clearly in your mind yes. that you have a, some kind of 
uh, racist segregation uh, problem. But and now you're asking me about the now yes, you're asking clearly. About the, and then you, you approach the immigration what an, problem. What an extrapolation! But yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. This is all part of my screed. Yeah, you can read about it online. Uh, <laughs> is that something though? Is you that a said? Don't look online. <laughs> Just for that, you I'm can listening look... to you. I'm not going to go online. Okay, but don't you meant go for online. others to go online. Yes, yes, for others. Yes. And uh, you asked me about the immigration problem. Yeah. The Mexican immigration problem, or the Irish immigration problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm talking about the ongoing Irish immigration problem. I, I can't believe, uh, I have so many, I, I can't believe what's happened. Uh, it, it, first of all, it, it feels, is it just me or is it sort of, uh, feels like the end of the world? It, we're close to the end of the world. It, it could, it would feel, how high do gas prices have to get according to the Bible for it technically to be the end of the world? <laughs> Is it si is it yeah. six fifty a gallon? It what says do you think in Revelations, it yeah, seven forty I mean, a gallon, yeah. Right, it's the it's the tsunami, the gas <laughs> prices, the whole thing. So now we're gonna. Uh, I, well, I think we should put all our money into the space program because we should we should get the hell out of here and just. <laughs> you think we should leave Earth as a people? Just leave. Yes, and not worry about the reentry tiles. I'm not coming back. You know what I mean? <laughs> just and then, go and. And then we can build a fence there. <laughs> Now, I don't understand why, in, in God's name, America, the most technologically advanced country, uh, according to the spin, is... <laughs> I had no idea I was going to say that. <laughs> but thanks for jumping in and helping me, helping me out. <laughs> I'm busy uh, with my racial theories here. I can't well, really jump yeah, in. You've got to take a look at that, but that's for, <laughs> that's for after the show. You just needed a guy like me who could look right at you and that's go... That's good. <laughs> Have you gone? Have you ever gone to therapy? I've never looked into your eyes. No, take a good look. Uh, I, I've, yes, I've gone to therapy. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Would you be interested in going to couples therapy? <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah. I notice you don't look right at me. You look at me no. a little bit, and then you, I look right at you. You dart away. Your eyes dart away, and uh, you're very, it's, it's very unsettling for you, isn't it? <laughs> well. It's, it's extraordinarily uncomfortable. I don't think the people at home know what this feels like. It's, you, wh while you're looking at me, right. there's little there other than a uh, uh, racist slur. slur, slur. <laughs> I love you when you know that. I love you when you know yeah, that. You know, okay. We just started out that way. I think this idea of building the fence is what I can't believe because... Is that the best we can do is build a fence? First of all, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm, I think all people are the same. I'm not sure how this immigration thing should work out, but they're people. But they tried, didn't, didn't they try the fence thing at the Alamo? Didn't we try that? <laughs> didn't they build the wall and then the Mexicans had what they call a ladder? <laughs> They got right over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> was the gift shop there originally at the Alamo? Because I was there, they had a gift shop. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. I don't know if then the Mexicans bought the T-shirts that said, I'm in. Right. And, <laughs> and I'm not against a Mexican person taking my job. I wish George Lopez was here now to take over. <laughs> George Lopez, everybody. Let's take a break. We have so much more and to talk about. We have not scratched the surface. We'll have more with Gary Schelling no. in, in one second. Please, so stick around. I hope.